Welcome to Local Edition. I'm Bella Shaw. Ventura County Supervisor Linda Parks joins us. Last time she was here, she talked about water issues, but today she's going to talk trash. Yes, we're going to do some trash talking. <laughs> Uh, we are at the Board of Supervisors facing a decision to expand the Simi landfill. Uh, the waste management operates it and they want to double the size of the landfill. And part of that is because they uh, want to increase the amount of Los Angeles County trash coming to Ventura County. And that's a concern because if we fill up our landfill, where are we going to go? And that's what LA is facing now. Their landfills are, are at capacity. capacity. We'll keep their trash on that side, but don't cross over <laughs> into our county. Well, it, does, it will impact us if we lose our capacity. So that, that's a concern, and, uh, and people usually don't think too much about their trash after they you know, put mm -hmm. it out on the curb for the trash truck to come along. But uh, certainly if you're in a community near a landfill, there are a lot of concerns, everything from a lot of you know, truck traffic going to the landfill is one of those concerns, but you also want to make sure that uh, landfills have liners so they don't leak and landfill you certainly issues. Certainly wanna, wouldn't want to build on top of one. That's the uh, cradle to grave sort of uh, philosophy, you know, that uh, w what does become of these things. In the old days, they put it on a big barge and dump it in the ocean. Right, and, and, and manufacturers, you know, need to be a little bit more responsible in their packaging because they end up having so much extra packaging you don't need and that ends up in these landfills and uh, it's not necessary and of course we all know the you know reuse, recycle and and uh, reduce your waste. Even a lot that, of people don't important. realize a lot of those uh, packaging materials can be recycled. Yes and you know landfills, um, this one is interesting I thought it kind of cracked me up. They use what they call alternative daily cover you put on top of a landfill uh, to keep the trash from getting out, I guess. And what they're going to be using and proposed in Simi Valley is shredded cars. And I just thought, well, how appropriate, since LA County is so full of cars, too. <laughs> but but wow. they are using <laughs> shredded cars uh, to help as an alternative daily cover on top of the landfill. So, so no nothing is burned. It's, they just dig it a hole deeper and deeper and deeper. Yeah, and then at this point they're, they're expanding out and, uh, and it's a pretty large expansion and you're going into areas of open space and agriculture land. So, uh, but it is something that we all need to deal with. It's something that you know, we're all a part of. It's a very regional issue. Um, you know, some issues like wastewater treatment plants, you know, a city will have their own sewer plant. But when it comes to trash, it's a, it's a major regional issue and something very important to our county to make sure that we don't over uh, exceed our capacity. And we've been very good in being able to do a lot of recycling so we don't have as much going to our landfills. There's a landfill in Santa Paula called the Tolan Landfill that is actually using sludge from sewer plants they're making it, uh, they're kind of incinerating it and using that as their alternative mm. daily cover. Instead of shredded <laughs> cars, they're using <laughs> solid waste or sewer sludge, I guess. Doesn't it's sound too it. inviting, does it? No, <laughs> but that's, you just, these are the kind of issues you want to make sure that you're dealing with when you're deciding on landfills. And one of them is, you know, odors is one, traffic is another, and, and making sure that they, are being responsible corporate citizens with our waste. Well, maybe the waste and trash from Los Angeles County will end up in Orange County. Not. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tough one. You know, a lot of these sewer plants have been taking their sludge out to uh, you know another county that doesn't want it that doesn't there. Want them. So can't blame them. Under Linda Parks, thank you so much for joining <laughs> us here on Local Edition. And now I'm Bella Shaw. Let's go back to HLN.